I was thinking the other day about old 800 numbers and nine old 900 numbers from my childhood and I wonder if they still worked. One of the first ones that immediately springs to my mind is 1-800-COLLECT. So to anyone who might not remember, <laughs> you can make a collect call and then uh, for like long distance reasons or whatever. So there was this company that was called 1-800-COLLECT that was supposed to save you money on your phone bill because calling collect was very, very fucking expensive. So you call 1-800-COLLECT, type in the number you want to do, and then they would reduce the cost. People have cell phones nowadays, so what would 1-800-COLLECT still be used for? So let's go ahead and try it, shall we? So 1-800-C-O-L-L-E-C-T. -L -L -E Alright, here we go. But this is on speakerphone. Thank you for calling 1-800-COLLECT, powered by YMAPTEL. Now, we can also assist you in making collect calls to wireless numbers. For rate information, please wait for instructions. For English assistance, press 1 now. Para recibir asistencia en español, marque el 2. Please enter the area code and number you are calling, followed by the pound sign. Are you telling me 1-800-COLLECT still works? You can still call people collect, even on a cell phone? How does that work? Who can I call? Okay, so I just Googled the Indiana Senator over in Washington, D.C. Kind of got a few things I like to tell him now. So let's call, let's call that again. For English assistance, press 1 now. Please enter the area code and number you are calling, followed by the pound sign. Alright. To make a collect call, press 1 now. To bill to a calling card or credit card, enter the card number now, followed by the pound sign. To bill your card to a third party, press 2 now. To speak to an operator, press 0 now. For a rate quote, press 3. I don't know what to do. For a rate quote. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> Please enter your area code and telephone number you are calling. Uh... What? <laughs> you entered two, zero, two, 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 four, three, one, two, one. To confirm this number, press 1. To enter a new phone number, please record your name and press pound when finished. Jason Soto. Wait for an answer. <laughs> what is happening? I don't know what's happening. This is 1-800-CLEG. This should not even be working. I'm on a cell phone. The, no one needs to call collect anymore. Why would you need to do this? Other party has left the call. Thank you for using our service. Goodbye. I have no idea what just happened. That was weird. I did not expect that to work. I thought I was going to get some weird message like, Hey, no one calls collect anymore. Why are you calling this number? I mean, they don't even make the commercials anymore. They 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 should make the commercial. They can hold like have make commercials. They can have like John Cena come out and be like, "Call one eight hundred collect." Yeah, weird. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one. So, another thing that was very popular in the eighties and somewhat nineties were one eight hundred numbers. Now, these were numbers that would charge you however much money per minute. For you to be on the call and they would typically just be like like a celebrity or you know it would be like you know i'm a psychic call 1-900 i'm psychic and you'll get a reading or whatever and then they charge like 99 cents a minute 
and then they'd run up your phone bill because they'll, they'll the phone call would be like, I'm seeing that you are hairy. <laughs> so it would be like, come on, get to my fortune. I'm paying 99 cents a minute for this. So we're going to call this one right here. I want to see what this does. This is supposed to be for Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Bill and Ted Part 3 is coming out this summer. I'm very excited for it. So let's go ahead and give old Bill and Ted a call and see what happens. Your account is not authorized to make calls to this phone number. If you would like to have additional capabilities added to your account, please call customer service. Okay, so much for that. Let's try another one. Ooh, let's call Freddy Krueger. Let's see if Freddy Krueger can... Uh, uh, your account is not authorized to make calls to this phone number. If you would like to... So I can't call 900 numbers on this, apparently. So, interesting. So, I have Virgin Mobile, which I just found out got bought out by Boost Mobile. So maybe my type of phone won't work on 900 numbers. So that's going to be a bust. So let's just go back to the 800 numbers and see what works. Alright, so I'm resorting to TV shows now. So there was a show called America's Most Wanted. It was hosted by this dude named John Walsh. And it was every week, it was just this dude who was like talking about like the world's most dangerous criminals and how they were wanted. And they would do like a little play about what the criminal did or whatever. And then if you had any information about whereabouts of this person you would call this 800 number so let's see what happens if this is still active let's see what's a dangerous criminal that I know okay it's ringing that's interesting welcome to America's hottest talk line guys hot ladies are waiting to talk to you press one now ladies to talk to interesting and exciting guys free press two to connect free now Guys, let's connect for free. I'm let's... sorry, I didn't understand your response. Please press five to continue. What's happening? <laughs> is America's it... hottest talk line is for callers 18 and over. If you're under 18, you must hang up now. Product of XIP. We hope you have a great time on America's hottest talk line. Grab a pen. We're going to give you our direct access number so you can call oh. us back absolutely free next time you're in the mood. Ready? Call 1-800- 444-3000. That's 1-800-444-3000. Is that it for that? You need to record a greeting to introduce yourself to the other callers. First, let's record the name you want to use. After the tone, record just your first name. Eduardo. Now let's record your greeting. If you're ready to record, press 1. If your tips for recording a good greeting, record after the tone. Hit any B when you're done. Hey ladies, this is Eduardo. I'm looking for a fun time. Call me. If you're happy with invalid entry, if you're happy with your greeting, press 1. To hear how it sounds, your oh. greeting is now being reviewed by the moderator. For a safe connection, keep personal information like your last name, phone number, address, or details about your workplace confidential. What did I just do? time to get to know the other person. Okay. I don't know what I just did. So, I might be getting a phone call being like, hey, Eduardo. <laughs> so, let's recap what just happened. So, I called the old America's Most Wanted number, and it now goes to some sex, well, it doesn't even say sex, it's just a chat line to connect with people. And for the record... One of them said, if you're a guy, call for a lady, but you got to pay for it. But if you're a lady, you get to hit this number, and it's going to be for free, which I did. And then it said it didn't exist, and then it gave me a different number, and then it wanted me to put a phone... Wow. This is weird. I just remember another phone number I want to try. Okay. So, in the same vein of... America's Most Wanted. There was a show called Unsolved Mysteries. So it was kind of the same thing, but it was about like weird stuff. It'd be like people disappearing, aliens, Bigfoot, you name it. 
they did this a thing. And so they also had a tip line where it was uh if you knew where information about where Bigfoot was or this person that went missing or whatever, you'd call this number and Robert Stack would give the number at the end of the episode. And so let's see what that does. Uh, that's another Phone line. service on this number has been suspended. You call is now being disconnected. Oh. I'm sorry, there's been a temporary problem processing your request. Hmm. That's very weird. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if I can wrap my head around what just happened. Um, okay. So. <laughs> so the old Unsolved Mysteries phone number gives you an error message that doesn't work. And then silence, and then something that sounds like a slowed down recording of like a cat or a lion or a panther. That was kind of un that was kind of jarring, actually. That was kind of weird. I'm not easily scared by stuff because you know I know stuff is fake and th th yeah. But that was weird. I'm not gonna lie. That was really, really, very fucking weird. I almost want to call it again and hear it. Should I? God, what if it's like some weird experiment thing and they're tracking my location? Nah, I'm not paranoid like that. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, if you want to try, if 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 that will, if you want to do this with your friends, uh, you know, I'll just put the phone number on the bottom here. This this is the phone number to the uh, unsolved mysteries, and that led to that message. I don't know, man. You know what? I think them done. That creeped me out. I'm I'm calling it quits. So if there's a 800 number from when you were a kid, um, leave it in the comments below. I can do a follow up video on this and give those a shot and see what they do. Don't tell me what they do. I want to find out for myself. You know, as I'm recording, just be like, hey, this number went to this. You know, this is what it was back then. You know, it could be like you know a local place or something. Thank you very much for watching for this. Hey, this is a video version of a podcast called Whatever with Jason Soto. Check that out in the description below. Subscribe to that. Subscribe to this channel. Click that bell because I will be making vlogs every now and then and videos about whatever random shit I think about. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.